Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. And I'm in Sydney, and I just want to show you, it's a beautiful day. The sun has come out, and uh, I'm just going for a bit of a walk. I had a, a breakfast included, and I thought, hey, let's go for a walk. Burn those calories off. So I'm in Sydney. And uh, right across the road here is the Queen Victoria building. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm walking up Market Street here. And this here is uh, right in the CBD. This is where the action happens. So it's, it's really, it's really cool. It's really cool. I gotta tell you, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. There's some really tasty critters around here. Many tasty critters. Uh, it's and right in front of us is the at center point. At center point, that's the big tower there, big tower, tower block there. So having a look here, just coming along. This is George Street. So this is George Street is where Vintage Watch Co is. They're down in the what's it called? Here we go, light rail, Sydney light rail. Look at this. This is their trams. They call it trams. Well, they, they call it light rail, but it it's really, it, that was their tram. So uh, just wait here. So have a look here. And, uh, oh, you can cross, can you? I didn't know you could do that. I suppose if you get run over, it's goodbye. It's good night, Irene, isn't it, hey? Let's have a look. Got some buskers. Got a bit of a vibe. Um, fair few homeless people here in the city, which it's always been an aggressive city. Let's have a look. What do we got here? It's got a nice vibe. Coming up here, Market Street, is the new Rolex. The Rolex Boutique. It's actually an hourglass. <clears throat> it's an hourglass. They. Uh, this is the way they do things. And... Uh, yeah, it's cool. It is cool. The Rolex. Because we all love our Rolex. Nice Porsche. Look at that. Look at it's got the automatic opening boot. Very cool. Anyhow, just having a look here. We're going past Maya. And uh, there's Rolex on the corner. And on the other side is the mall. That's the, the mall in the Sydney CBD. So it's... Uh, I gotta tell you, it was rainy yesterday. Now we've got the beautiful sun. It's just nice to get a bit of sunshine. It's been raining in Sydney, and uh, geez, it's it's nice, nice to see the sun out there. So there we go. That's the the Rolex boutique, and right next door is Breitling. Breitling. They don't seem to have that many customers there, and right. <coughs> Right next door here is Tag Heuer. Tag Heuer. Uh, and this is the Mall. The Mall. That's the mall. The mall. That's the Pitt Street Mall. And I got to tell you, uh, what's 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 really going on here is the um, the boutiques. The boutiques have gone crazy. Here's one here. <clears throat> this is. Grand Seiko and I gotta tell you what you know these watch companies they talk about loyalty I don't want to name any names but I know somebody who had a Grand Seiko agency when they opened this boutique store what do you think they said to him <clears throat> what do you think they said to him well let me tell you what they said they sent him an email to say that his services are no longer needed. So basically they built the brand with his help and then they told him to, they told him goodbye. So I, I gotta be totally honest with you, Grand Seiko themselves there, they talk about loyalty. There ain't no loyalty. There ain't no loyalty in the watch business. It's nasty and uh, that's that's the way it kind of is, I'm afraid. Okay, let's have a have a look here. So, this is the um, 
just crossing over this is the beautiful look at this beautiful this is the rolex boutique no i was there yesterday they got a bit of an explorer display on they got an, a display with the explorers they tell you the story quite an interesting display they show one thing i found fascinating they had the block of steel that they carved 904l steel that they carve the oyster case for the watches out of very interesting so there we go that's the, the rolex rolex we love our rolex no stock of course there's nothing available <coughs> Um, so, you know, that's kind of how it, that's kind of how it goes there. It, uh, let's have a look what else is happening. So, I gotta say, man, I, I came down here yesterday, it was drizzly, it was awful. Now, it's really cool with this weather. The weather is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. It's really, really cool. So um, I, don't, I don't mind that at all. Just beautiful. It's got a, the temperature here would be about 22 degrees and slight breeze. It's, it's actually beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's why I'm out here. I thought, you know, I had breakfast and I thought, hey, I'll just burn a few of those calories off there. I've been a bit of slippage in the weight loss program. I went down to 119 kilos and I've, I've shot back up a bit so I'm not back to the the disaster weight but we'll have to address that very soon so okay guys I just wanted to show you that that's Sydney this is Sydney Sydney it's just lovely lovely weather really really cool weather it's nice to be out of the rain. It is really nice to be out of the rain. So uh, that's what I'm thinking then. This is the beautiful Sydney Hilton. Can you tell where I'm calling from? The Las Vegas Hilton. Well, this is Sydney Hilton. So um, I got to tell you, man, it's it's really beautiful. The thing with the Hilton is you can cross, cut across from one street to the next street. So that goes between the, I think it's George Street and the Queen Victoria, well, whatever the streets are there. It's a bit, I'm a bit confused. So um, Pitt Street and George, that's right, Pitt Street to George. So um, really cool. I love, the Hilton's got this beautiful, beautiful sort of open air thing in the middle where they can drive in it just just gives it a really really cool atmosphere so uh just taking a bit of a sticky beak and uh there we go guys archie luxury on the archie luxury channel i'll see you i'll see you on the next one